All right, welcome to the sixth protein structure tutorial. And from last time, uh, I was just talking a little bit about uh, looking at two structures and basically looking and seeing what, what is the difference uh, conformationally. Is there a huge difference between the two structures? And I was talking about the orange HIV protease structure being an inhibitor bound structure, whereas the purple structure, uh, the purple PDB, is kind of an open structure. So you can definitely see the, the, the difference in the flap region here. And um, as it turns out, uh, the difference in the conformations has helped inhibitor design and helped kind of the understanding of this protein quite a bit. So usually when you compare, t compare two homologous proteins, um, even if the sequence is quite a bit different, the structures will usually align up pretty well. Uh, you won't see a ton of difference in my experience, but here, in this particular case, uh, you will you will see quite a quite a bit of difference. So finally, uh, the last part of this tutorial, I just wanted to kind of show you how to make a publication style quality image. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to zoom in on a certain part of the protein. We'll just zoom in on the ligand. And let's just say we wanted to zoom in on the mutation we made. And we want to make a publication quality image of that. Let's, let's go to that region. So here's that tyrosine we mutated a few videos back. Okay, so we've kind of got a, a decent image, but we, we have to adjust the fog um, just to kind of get rid of some of the supporting uh, protein. We just want to focus in on this region. So remember, we'll use the scroll wheel to adjust the fog. And basically, this kind of involves some playing around, trying to get the, the best perspective you can. And I'm going to hide uh, the other structure we brought in, uh, just to clarify this view a little bit. So that, that makes it a little bit simpler. And we can kind of look at the mutation we've made. Finally, uh, when you are ready to make your, your publication quality image, uh, if you just go to this Ray button and hit Ray, it'll start to render uh, the image. And an important part uh, to take note of is after you've clicked on the Ray, uh, if you move the structure even slightly, it'll take the rendering away. So what Ray does is it just simply renders all the shadows and kind of brightens it a little bit, uh, just so you can see uh, the kind of the the work you've done to make the, the image look good. So you can see it's it's really brightened uh, things up and kind of it makes it look makes the structure look a lot better. So this is just a, a real nice tool to make the make really really good images. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, finally, uh, one one last thing. After you've you're ready to print out your image or show it on a PowerPoint, oftentimes you want to show it in a 
against the white background. So if you go to display and then background white.